Today's battle is between a samurai and a Makai Rodas. Let's get into this. So, if you don't know what a Makai Rodas is, Makai Rodas is a is an extinct species of prehistoric cat. It can be up to around six, six to seven feet long, three to, three and a half feet tall, and it can weigh up to around like around two hundred and twenty to five hundred and thirty pounds. And yes, we're using that at the maximum weight. In size, okay. Now the samurai. Samurais, the samurai, normally a normal size. They can be up to five. They can be five foot three, weigh up to one hundred thirty five pounds, and their gear is like sixty five pounds weight. So for this fight, we're gonna we're going to use a. It's five foot four samurai that weighs one hundred and forty pounds and yeah, the gear stays the same. So the weapons the the samurai is gonna use is a bone arrow and a katana. Yeah. So yeah. First of all, the bone arrow versus the jaws. Now you might be asking, wait, why are why is the bone arrow going against the jaws and the Makai Rodas? Well, funny thing is Samurais were better better at archery than they were at PvP. They were excellent archers and that had the level of the Mongols who were better arch who were very good archers as well. The Mongols and Samurais were pretty good archers. And the Macaros' jaws are pretty good too. The bow the bow and arrow has the range advantage and the and the Makai Rodas has the has, has the PvP advantage. No, Katana versus Claws. The Katana gets the advantage here because it's it's a three foot piece of steel. What did you expect? The Claws, they're gonna do some damage to it to the Samurai, but the Samurai has freaking armor, tough armor. Okay, and the three feet piece of steel is going to cut through the animal. Okay. But I'm not saying you should sleep on the Mecha Rudis. Well, let's see how the fight turns out. Okay, X Factors. The Samurai <clears throat> has armor. Good archer. He's a good archer. And they were they were they were average when it came to PvP. Yeah. Okay, now Mekai Rodas is mm, X Factors. It was stealthy. It was fast and agile and yeah. It's a tie when it comes to X Factors. Okay, now let's get to the fight. No main stats: speed, Makai Rotus, strength, t- tied. No strength goes to the Makai Rotus. Brains, you, the samurai. The attack is tied, and defense goes to the samurai. Okay, let's fight. So the samurai is just meditating. Okay. And then a black, the, this giant black cat called the Makai Rodas just comes out over. The samurai readies his sword but realizes, yeah, he's far away. I'm going to use my bow. He lines up the shot. The Makai Rodas dodges the projectile and runs towards it. Then the, Mac, then the samurai just keeps shooting shot after shot after shot. Until one day, one of the arrows hit the Makai Rodas' leg. The Makai Rodas roars in pain, and he can't walk that well. But he takes it. That he takes the arrow out. He roars and continues running. He shoots the the samurai shoots another one, but it misses, and the Makai Rodas jumps on him. Makai Rodas mauls the samurai, but the face armor, like around right here, protects him from impen- impenetrable doom. The, the samurai uses his bow to whack the the Makai Rodas in the face and he uses kat- his katana. Now he knows that he isn't good at the katana, but he is going to try his best to defend himself. He has his armor anyway. The Makai Rodas roars loudly and the samurai yells and freaking swings his sword around with precision precision and calmness. The Makai Rodas is gets sliced a couple of times but the samurai is getting tackled by the Makai Rodas. Finally the Makai Rodas bites hard enough to injure the samurai, but the samurai just cuts the underbelly of the Makai Rodas.
but it's not severe, just hurts. The Magpie Rotus roars and then runs and tackles the, the samurai and bites his helmet, trying to rip it off. The, hel the helmet is getting attached by a little strap, you know. The, the samurai jerks his sword back at the Magpie Rotus, pokes him in the face a couple times, and yeah. Makai Rotus is annoyed and just runs off and stays at a good far enough distance. The samurai, the samurai sees an opportunity to go for his bow, and yeah, bad move. Makai Rotus just led him to a trap and just pounces on his back and starts biting at his back, biting at the samurai's back. <clears throat> The samurai is getting can't get up, and he, he can't his sword is far away from him. He can't get up, so the samurai decides to punch the Makai Rotus in the face. But the Makai Rotus starts biting his fist. The samurai roars and yells in pain and throws the big cat off of him. He starts punching him in the face and eyes. The Makai Rotus lets go, lets go, and the samurai kicks him in the face. And then goes for its sword. And the Makai Rotus is like, "Ow, man, that hurt." The samurai goes for a sword and slices that slices off out one of the Makai Rotus' eyes. The Makai Rotus roars in pain as he lose as he lost just one eye. The Makai Rotus thinks it's a good time to escape, but the the gates are closed and he has no choice but to fight back. The Makai Rotus jumps but gets <laughs> impaled. By the katana, Makai Rotus drops dead. And yeah, Samurai has won. <laughs> Verdict. Now, some of you might be asking, well, why did the Samurai won? Well, better weaponry, better armor, better bow and precision. And yes, if the bow. And if the and the, if the samurai has gotten a lot more shots with his bow and arrow, then it could have killed the Makai Rotus. But don't sleep on Makai Rotus. Makai Rotus is a great, great feline, and it could kill the samurai even in this situation. In the end, sixty-three percent goes to the samurai. Oh yeah, longer range. Another reason the samurai won is because of its longer range weapons. Yeah. But anyways, who do you think would have won this fight? Let me know in the comments down below. I'll see you guys later. Bye bye.